Scientists have spotted a large heat-emitting area beneath the Moon's surface. Thanks to data from Chinese and American Moon orbiting satellites, scientists have discovered a heat-emitting mass beneath the Moon's surface. According to them, it is a deposit of granite, which is rarely found, especially in large quantities, outside of Earth. Scientists suggest that the source of the granite is an extinct volcano that last erupted 3.5 billion years ago. On the Moon, between the Compton and Belkovich craters. A large mass of granite has been discovered that slowly releases heat. This rock is not very common outside of Earth, so finding it on the Moon is quite intriguing. On our planet, It forms deep below the surface, usually under a volcano. Before 1950, most scientists believed that craters on the Moon were created by volcanic processes. Then, Studies related to the Apollo missions showed that almost all of them were caused by impacts, said Matthew Siegler of the Planetary Science Institute. It is true that no volcano similar to those on Earth has been found on the Moon. But the discovery of a mass of granite on our natural satellite confirms that volcanic processes took place there as well as on our planet. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Nature. The Moon is rather not associated with broadly understood volcanism. It is difficult to see volcanoes in the earthly sense of the word on its surface. However, it is a fact that in the ancient past there were eruptions as well as lava fields. Further evidence of this has recently been found by scientists under the surface of the Silver Globe, between the Compton and Belkovich craters. This is indicated by the presence of granite on Earth. It is formed deep below the surface, usually under volcanoes, where magma has the right conditions to cool and crystallize. The presence of water and the movement of tectonic plates are also useful here. However, encountering granite outside of Earth is not very common. All the more so finding it on the Moon is quite a sensation. But how can we even explore what lies beneath the lunar surface and find traces of ancient volcanism there?
measurements made by lunar orbiters sent by the United States and China can be analyzed. For example, the Chinese Chang'e 1 and 2 missions carried instruments that scanned the moon using microwaves. A team of astronomers decided to analyze this data to try to determine the temperature beneath the moon's surface. And in this context, The area between the Compton and Belkovich craters turned out to be particularly interesting. As one of the researchers even commented, the area under the influence of microwaves even glowed. It was not without reason that it was suspected that this is where the former volcano may be located, because something that is able to emit heat was discovered in this location. Looking more closely, the scientists found that there is a silicon-rich area about 20 kilometers wide. It is probably the caldera of an ancient volcano. At the same time, the temperature in this place is about 10 degrees Celsius higher than the surroundings. Evidence suggests that this volcano probably last erupted 3.5 billion years ago. So the heat is not from molten lava or anything like that, but from radioactive elements, and the only type of rock that contains enough of these elements is granite until geochemists drive. Rita Economos suggested a possible explanation. Researchers were stumped, not entirely sure what they were dealing with. According to Dr. Economos, This could be explained by the presence of a batholith about 50 kilometers wide, which is mainly composed of granites. Batholiths are volcanic rocks that are formed when lava reaches the surface but does not erupt. Besides, Examples of such rocks can also be found on Earth. This is how the Californian rock formations El Capitan and Half Dome were formed. It is likely, however, that there are more such places on the Moon and on other planets.